the Umagod 250. And having watched the video series of Tommy's research, development, prototyping and constant refinement, I was met with a lot of anticipation and eagerness to get my hands on one. I noticed that Tommy was actually producing the kit with four inch arms. When I've gone through and built the frame, what you can really see from the entire build is the amount of time and effort that Tommy has put in to get this right. Every inch of this frame is really well engineered and the best part is there's a very high tolerance in how the carbon fiber is cut. The way Tommy's done the camera cage with the inner and outer plates and the outer plates act as a wedge to keep it all nice and tight, it really showcases just how much thought has been put into all of this. Using the recommended iFlight F7 Beast, which was kind of unimpressive, and also going with the Nebula Pro Vista kit, which I happen to have one of. And then also what made this one different was using 1804 2400KB motors from Xnova, and of course flying Express LRS with the EP2 RX from Happy Model. After it was all built, it came in at 166 grams dry weight, with a 6S450 that gets you right on 251 grams and a 4S550 gets you to 226 grams. Flight time on either battery is around 5 to 7 minutes of spirited flight. Umagod also give you a 4 and 6S tune, although the one difference I would recommend is when Tommy recommends updating the motor idle percentage from 5.5 to 6%. Bring that down to 4.5% if you're going to do a 3.5 inch prop build. When you're doing low throttle manoeuvres, the prop's are still spinning too much. This is actually going to increase flight time for you, probably by a little bit. Now when I put this together, I actually didn't have any 4 inch bi-blade props, and I did have some 4 inch tri-blades, the first props that I could actually find with 3.5 inches. And I figured since 3.5 inches is all the latest craze, let's put them on and actually see how it goes. Now I can tell you that it is a tight squeeze with 4 inch props but with the 3.5 inches you wouldn't actually tell this is not really made for them. Now having to find fault for the sake of finding fault it's really the way the VTX antenna is mounted. The two cable ties off the standoff it does the job but in a crash it can come undone. Having built this the way Umagod designed and now having thought about it a little bit further, what I'm going to do is put some heat shrink over both the standoff and the antenna to keep that locked in nice and tight. So for me, flying this around with Tommy's six inch tune with three and a half inch props is an absolute dream. This just so happens to be the best three and a half inch quad you can get, but it's not on the market. So if you're gonna do this particular build, here are the tips that I give you. The Xnova 1804 motors. They come in 1900 kV, 2400 kV, and a few other higher options. If you're wanting success, the 2400 kV ones will work fine. It does give it quite a bit of punch. The one thing to keep a note is if you are gonna run success, if you go ahead and do Tommy's tune, you'll notice in the configuration page, he ups the motor idle percentage from five and a half to 6%. I'd probably drop that back down to five and a half, five, or even four and a half. When you do low power maneuvers up high, the props are still spinning at a relatively fast rate. So dropping that down will give it a little bit more fling and I'm absolutely in love with the build. And one of the things that I'd recommend you actually do if you're gonna buy the frame kit is get the titanium screw upgrade.
the 230 with four inch arms and three and a half inch props, which I'm aptly naming the 235. And Tommy, you can have that name. If you guys like how well this flies, please drop a comment in the video below so, so Tommy knows that he should be actually releasing the 235 to market. For me, this is honestly the best three and a half inch quad you can get. Having the Gepa C Smart 35, Bayonet FPV X935, as well as the Diatone Roma F35, this is going to be the one I'm going to be reaching to fly when I want to go out and join the sky. I'm Darren from Everything Mark 4 FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.